for me, some of the greatest privileges you got to experience were some of your idols, like seeing like Vinny, like Dimebag Daryl and Pantera, yeah. getting like some of the great moments of where they become friends. Like you're you're sort of these celluloid people or these rock stars or these huge musicians like all of a sudden are your friends in a way and it's just it, it's amazing those poignant moments like life has carried on and people have passed and good things have happened and bad things have happened i think what, what at the end of the day when you go home and turn out the light you're like man those guys were great those those beautiful people we got to know from pantera to biohazard to all the guys in, in sabbath those moments are more it's like Oh, I'm sitting here on the stage with Sabbath watching this go down. I'm sitting here. We're in the front row watching it go down. I got to be on stage because I got to do it with Sharon. But we were up in the like, front every but, day. Like, they're like, how this guy's getting every city across the whole U.S. <laughs> but in addition to that, real quick, um, like seeing Vic from 108, uh, the oh, hardcore right. band 108. Like, we got Sick. to play with them a couple times in Shelter. And some of the, some of the hardcore bands that were absolutely intrinsically special to my heart where I come from as a as a player like I come from the punk rock hardcore scene and when we got to play with some of these guys that were just mind-blowingly intense and honest and for reals and to see them do what you always hoped that they could do when you listen to those seven inch records or you caught like a little bit of a zine and you read an interview to go out and play with like 108 and shelter yeah. and all those great hardcore bands Snapcase, whomever we it was so many on the in those early days those great hardcore bands that were just sort of still they were still doing their thing like later on a lot of those bands stopped playing but we got to catch a lot of those great hardcore acts in like people's living rooms we played garages and, and living rooms and small backyards with these great bands so for me one of the great moments is watching Vic in Phoenix, Arizona, absolutely shred. <laughs> and I was like, I've never seen anybody play guitar like that. As far as difficulty goes and what bands go through and why things are ugly, it's just like anything else, like a marriage or like a relationship. You, egos and, you know, misinformation or lack of communication. Like everything. Like anyone that's in a band, whether it's just playing in your garage or who's ever watching this, who's, you know, has a, a Grammy Award for what they've done. They know what it's like to have to compromise and have to live with and fight with and love with and learn with someone or someones else. Someone's, yeah. You know, and that takes, a, that takes a lot out of you when you're trying to create something all the time. And I think that that manifests itself in all the horror stories that, you know, we're all too familiar with. from people leaving us too soon because of their demons, people breaking up too soon because they just couldn't find their path through their music, their life, their relationships. All those things are relevant in art, just like they are out in the world. So for everyone who's fighting with their girlfriend or boyfriend, same thing. The bands are doing it too. We're fighting with each other, just for the same reasons, just on a totally different scale or through a totally different lens. It's just human, and that's why art is beautiful.